Welcome everyone, amazing news. Uncovered Jailbreak 6.0 has just dropped today and it is able to jailbreak all devices running on iOS 11 up until 14.3. And also more importantly, it supports the newest devices like iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 12 Mini, iPad Pros and all those nice new devices. So as you can see here, I have iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'm just gonna show you in a second uh, that it is running uh, iOS 14.3. So I hope you guys were also waiting for this jailbreak and you stayed on 14.3 so far. Now the procedure to jailbreak the device is quite simple and you, all, you are all familiar with it. I'm just gonna uh, walk you through it as a reminder. Well, before I, uh, before I begin, so this is a method with a computer. Currently, all those methods without computers, I don't recommend because they are overloaded currently. Uh, those apps that need to be signed, again, overloaded. So I am really against it. I wanna do it the proper way, which is through my uh, Mac. So the first stage is you go to the altstore.io website because you need to download the altstore. So the latest altstore version, you download either for Windows or Mac OS. So currently it's working on Mac OS. So I'm, downloaded the, I'm downloading the version for Mac OS, okay. We will wait for it to download for a few seconds. I'm gonna go to my download. Okay, so after downloading, I'm gonna unzip the file and I'm gonna see this uh, um, uh, altstore file here in my folder. I'm gonna double click on it and it's gonna say that this is downloaded from the internet. Do you want to reopen? Of course, I want to open it. Don't ask me this. And immediately once you do it, you will see this icon of the uh, alt server here. The next thing you want to do, you want to install the mail plugin for this. However, for me, it's already installed. So you need to go to your email and you need to go to your preferences. And there you need to go to manage plugins. And you will see that you need to, uh, you need to install the Altstore plugin and enable it here. Once you enable it, it's going to ask you to restart the uh, mail application, which you need to do. So it's going to ask you to apply and restart mail. So I've already done that. So now you will see that I'm, uh, I have, I have here, let me close this thingy. So in this little thingy up, I'm gonna click on install app store and it's gonna show me my phone, which is connected to my, connected to my uh, Mac. And here it asks you to provide Apple ID and password. So I'm providing my own personal uh, Apple ID if you don't feel comfortable with it, you can supply some addition. You can create a new one just for this purpose if you don't want to leave your own. But personally, I don't mind, so I'm gonna leave my own because it really, I had no issues, issues so far. You click install, and then if it's installed already on some of your previous phones, it's gonna show you, yes, you see? So it's already installed on some other device. That's my previous, iPhone, which I use for 13.5 jailbreak. So I'm just gonna say continue because I wanna replace it with this one, iPhone 12 Pro Max. And it's gonna give me this notification that it is installing on my phone. Yes, so you see, it's installed successfully on my phone. And you can see it here, the app is installed and it gonna, it's gonna give you this uh, notification that it's untrusted developer. You just click cancel and then you go to your settings where you will go to general and then you will go to profiles and device management and that phone that sorry that email address that you supplied is going to show here and it's going to ask you to trust it so i'm going to trust this uh, profile and now when i started it, it's going to work what is important here okay i always allow everything here Okay, what is important here that you go to settings first and you need to sign in with your Apple ID. But this Apple ID needs to be the same as the one you provided on the uh, on your device earlier on, you know. Okay, so everything is fine. You should see this, this screen. Okay, so I have it here, free developer account and here in my apps. 
So I have nothing here. I have alt store only, which needs to be signed after seven days. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we will be able to automatically resign it. We'll see it in some of my later uh, videos. Now, what we need to do, we need to go to uncover, uncover dot dev, right? So you go on your phone to uncover dot dev, and you have you can download the file 6.0. This is important. It's 11 to 14.3. Or you can open it in Outstore. For me, it's, I don't know, uh, I've used this method. I'm, I'm gonna download it here again. So it's gonna download to my apps, to my downloaded files. I'm gonna click on it and it will give me this window. I want to open it in the Outstore. So I'm gonna open it in the Outstore. I'm gonna find the Outstore, here it is. So I'm opening on the Outstore and now it's gonna load to my phone. Once it is loaded uh, to Altstore app, I'm gonna be able to see it on my home screen. You will see it in a few seconds. There it is. So Uncover app is on my phone and you can see it here. That's something I've been waiting to see for a long time. So it is the latest version, it's 6.00 and you just need to click jailbreak. The settings here, let's just go inside. This is the usual thing. So load tweaks, disable auto updates, of course, if you don't want to get updated to 14.5 or 14.4 currently and share the crash logs. I always leave it on. So let's jailbreak it. Uncover team never fails. Okay, completed. Now it's going to reboot the device in a jailbroken state. How cool is that, guys? I am really excited and very soon after this, I'm gonna show you the new, I'm gonna test the first tweaks that I'm dying to use on my new phone and I'm gonna report on it. Okie dokie. So it's, you see. Okay, so here is my Cydia. You go inside and Cydia is working. This is the proof of concept. <laughs> Sorry, not proof of concept, but I'm so happy that, you know, I cannot, I cannot begin to explain to you guys. So this is the short tutorial on how to jailbreak your latest device on uh, iOS 14.3. The maximum current version is 14.3. Let's hope that they will put also newer versions out there. Uh, but if you're on 14.3, you, you are waiting for the jailbreak. This is an amazing news for you. And if you have any questions, please ask them below.